Let me show you the garden. The garden is pretty cool. It's huge actually. So, so you have aubergine right here. Mm, some tomatoes that I just picked earlier. I don't know what any of these are, but it's growing. Something's growing. With lots of mango trees and mangoes on the ground. And the chickens, which are just free roaming. And it's very warm today. As a city girl, this is a totally new environment that I'm still adjusting to. The heat, the nature, the insects. What the fuck is this huge moth? Don't like bugs. I wish I did, but I don't. The heat is taking a toll on me and I'm itching my body constantly, but the nature is so calming and nurturing and I'm finally, finally craving fruits, which I usually dislike. You know, when I live in colder environments, I rarely want to eat fruits, but here, that's all I want to eat all the time. Alors, c'est comment ce fruit Super bon, super frais. Et quoi comme texture Croustillant. Waouh. Mais pour moi, c'est une pomme. sur une mangue. Elle s'est fait piquer 90 fois cette nuit. Elle n'est toujours pas morte. Romy est une warrior. Regardez. Regardez. On dirait qu'elle va faire du saut à la perche. Et ben non. Hmm. Ok. crazy how everything that we watch online, whether that's fiction or not, is romanticized. Like after watching Euphoria, I really felt like being in the lives of those characters and being at a party, like I really felt like being in that mood and not be where I currently am. So I feel like watching other people sometimes takes us away from our present, makes us wish to be somewhere we're not. It's usually when I compare my life to what I see online or in fiction or even comparing to my friends that I feel like I'm missing out. I feel like I should be doing something else. And it definitely takes me away from the present moment. So I really try to be very careful of what I consume and what I see because I know I can be very easily influenced by that. It's not always easy to feel present. But I try to remind myself that where I am is exactly where I'm supposed to be and that I should trust myself more 
trust that where I am is the right place and I shouldn't wish to be anywhere else. I was in Paris before coming here to Guadeloupe. I was visiting my family and my friends and being very social, being fully immersed in the city life. Uh, I mean, Paris is a very vibrant city. It's very loud as well. But actually, after a few days, I already felt the need to isolate myself and to really disconnect from the city life. I'm trying my best to just sit with the sweat and the clothes sticking to my skin. Just not let it bother me. <laughs> but I'm just really not used to this warmth. I just feel the need to like, I don't know, compulsively take showers or wash my face or move around because I'm like uncomfortable, but the best thing to do is just to sit and not to move and just breathe through it. Oh man, good thing I had this. for myself because I don't know like how it is for other people like for you guys maybe but for me I tend to think ahead a lot and wish to be in a certain kind of environment because I feel like like if I were in that kind of environment I would be more motivated to do the things that I want to do but that that I struggle to do back home I thought I would be so much more productive in such an environment but I also noticed that every place has its trade-offs and being here doesn't make me practice yoga more it doesn't make me meditate more and it's more about your own discipline and like every day trying to like stop negotiating with yourself about whether you should or should not do this goal that you have and just working with your own self to do the things you want to do no like no matter where you are no matter the outside circumstances i was picturing other places to live in as like an escape so that I don't have to take responsibility for my own discipline, but it's like the environment would influence my own discipline, but actually it's not necessarily easier. And even if it was, it doesn't change the problem of like, I keep negotiating with myself to do things and then I end up not doing them because I'm lazy. I thought, oh, being here, I will wake up so early. Uh, I will watch the sunrise and I will go running and then I'll go take a swim in the beach, like in the sea. like. Dude, I didn't, I've been here for a week and I still haven't done that. Sometimes we picture this ideal lifestyle, it's not necessarily gonna be like that. And I think YouTube and like some YouTubers who live in those kind of environments are really good at selling how wonderful their life is in a certain environment, usually tropical place like Hawaii. And you're like, whoa, my life will be so much better when I move to a place like this, but it won't necessarily be better. I mean, it depends on your personality, of course, and what you want from the place you live in. Like usually the same kind of problems that you encounter in, da in daily life, they just keep coming back. So it's like we have to deal with them and being in another place won't really change, change it that much. A lot of work has to be done with our own self rather than changing our external world. Ah. 
Bonjour, bonjour, bonjour. Nous voilà en pleine cambrousse tout seul. En train de se baigner. Ça fait du bien, putain. Ouh là là, Romy, putain, une aventure. Et elle est là. Wouah. Ouais. Bravo. I realized that I take a while to process things. Like when I'm in cities and there's a lot going on, in the midst of social interactions, gossip, partying, and work, my brain can get oversaturated with new things to process during the day, and I end up feeling the need to be alone with myself. I think when I was younger and wasn't really aware of stuff, I would just go about my days without really processing things, without thinking about what I was doing and how I feel, But now that I'm more mindful and aware, it's like I can't stop overthinking and analyzing how I feel about everything that I'm doing, which makes me slow at processing, because there's just a lot more to process, because I notice more things, I guess. Hey, I'm back on this porch and I'm actually leaving tomorrow. It always takes a bit of time to adapt to a new place. And when I first arrived here, it took me like, I think at least a week to really get used to the climate, to the change of pace, to all the little things that usually bother me, whether that's insects, being sweaty, being dirty many other different things that were like kind of bothering me because I wasn't used to it. Like during the first week I also thought, okay, well this place is not at all what I expected and I don't think I could see myself live in a place like that, even though I've been fantasizing about it for years. And I was really disappointed when I arrived here because I was like, oh my God, this life is not suitable for me. I just needed some getting used to and maybe I still need some adapting, but all the little things that used to bother me, they don't bother me as much and I'm able to enjoy the beauty of this place much more. I'm, I mean, I still dislike insects and I still dislike being sweaty, but it's like, it doesn't bother me as much. C'est quoi? Je suis en train de vlogger. Mm -hmm. Et l'autre chose que je voulais dire, c'est que j'arrive beaucoup plus à let go, genre euh, quand on va à la plage par exemple, mettre ma tête sous l'eau, un truc tout con, tu vois. Mm -hmm. Un truc que je faisais jamais avant parce que je déteste euh, me salir le visage et les cheveux. Mais là, je suis genre, je m'en bats les couilles, je vais ouais, le faire. Ouais. Et c'est trop agréable. Et, et après, le fait de ne pas se doucher, d'être un peu sale, de marcher pieds nus un peu partout. I feel like I'm letting go ouais, a lot. Ouais. Et c'est des choses naturelles au final. Et c'est des choses naturelles, ouais. Se baigner, marcher pieds nus, c'est pas de... C'est vrai. Après, c'est vrai que marcher dans une mangue toute pourrie, non, ça peut être un peu, un peu disturbing. Mais... Ouais. Tu vois, si tu restais euh, quelques mois, tu verrais. Ouais. Ça change plus que juste... Des petites habitudes. Ouais, it changes you as a person. Ouais, tu vraiment. Tu peux habiter dans un endroit comme ça. Vraiment, vraiment. Je pense que ce que j'ai plus appris, c'est à apprécier chaque petit moment parce que, au final, il se passe vraiment peu de choses ici comparé ouais. à, à la vie en ville. Et, euh, et maintenant, en fait, ça m'a permis de me ground de ouf. Quoi. Mm. Ça m'a appris à, à être plus patient. Ouais, la patience. Ouais. Même le mode de vie ici, tout est plus lent et ça t'apprend à calmer un peu mm -hmm. tout. Alors c'est le cercle de la paix et ici c'est 
la branche de la... Euh, non, c'est la branche de la, la honte. <rire> c'est la branche de la honte. T'as une putain de cigarette qui est en train de cramer. Et voilà. En fait, c'est ça mon but, le but de cette œuvre. C'est neuf collaboratives. Elle s'en bat les couilles. Euh... <rire> This moment with Louis made me feel like we were two kids playing on the beach, making sandcastle. Yeah. How simple everything used to be back then, without the overthinking and daily anxiety. How do you feel, Romy? Confused. Confused? Conflicted, but you just oh, saw you just saw a turtle. Ah, c'est vrai, the turtle. Ah, okay, tu vois ça te okay, tu vois ça te remet en perspective quand même. Oh, you just vrai. saw a fucking turtle. Une de tu l'as suivi pendant mmh. 5 minutes. Suivi longtemps, hein. Et ouais. Et elle, elle sort... après elle a eu peur elle s'est cachée. Elle sortait sa petite tête de l'eau. Ouais, en vrai. <rire> 